I'm gonna party like a rock star, hit a bunch of strip bars, wake up naked in a hotel room, by the telephone pole to wrap around my car. When it comes to recurring roles, Jay Thomas is the man. He's been the go-to guy on many of the biggest sitcoms of all time. Recently, Jay made headlines of his own when he got the surprise of a lifetime. This really is an amazing story. It's an incredible reunion, more than 20 years in the making. Well, I had a, a child years ago out of wedlock. And um, when everybody gets really fun. <laughs> it's really intense right now. But he lived a better life than he would have if he'd lived with me. I'm thinking of giving my other two kids up to his family. <laughs> Thomas had put JT up for adoption more than two decades ago. Why? Jay wasn't quite ready for the responsibility of fatherhood. I'm sure I fantasized that my dad was, you know, Burt Reynolds or Tom Hanks or somebody, but I never had any idea my real father was a worldwide celebrity. At age 31, Jay Thomas was struggling to get his career going in Hollywood. That's when an unplanned pregnancy really impacted his life. Little did Jay know, 18 years later, the son he never knew would track him down and ask to be part of his life. I was always curious where I came from. I saw a commercial on television about an adoption service. I called them, and in the day of the internet, I just, you know, gave them my information. And she said, your biological father is not like the rest of us. He's Jay Thomas. That's right. JT's dad is Emmy-winning actor Jay Thomas. I always knew I was adopted. I have really <laughs> amazing parents. You know, my uh, mom and dad have been great. And yeah. uh, so I just, when I met Jay, it was exciting. but. You know, I just, I'm really lucky. What can I say? Oh, yeah. you two are lucky. Yeah. 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 Thank uh, you. Wonderful. All you need is love. All together. All you need is love. Everybody. All you need is love. Love. What did you think when you got that first phone call? I said, I'd like to meet you, but I want to meet you in a public place in case you're crazy and you try to kill me or something like that. <laughs> I have a comedian friend of mine named Rodney Lee Conover. So I said, look, this kid who says he's my son is going to go to the, one of the shows. You sit next to him and you come backstage later and tell me what you think. And he comes backstage and he says, I'm sitting next to you 20 years ago. And then we met that night and within two weeks, he was house sitting, he was with my family, I have two boys, and, you know, it just worked out great for us. So what did you think when you met him? Uh, oh my God, I'm gonna be bald. <laughs> <laughs> I was, hey, I was, worse things I was could happen, <laughs> worse things could happen. Uh, oh my God. When you met, were you nervous? Uh, I was, but I was, I was also, uh, you know, kind of thrilled. I've always been very curious where I came from. I've had two, or still have, you know, two great parents. I was nervous what my parents would feel and my brother back at home. But yeah, it was, it was very exciting, you know? So at this point, you're clearly glad that you got the phone call. Well, if he had been a nut, I wouldn't have hung around with him. <laughs> yeah. When I met him, I said, gee, it's fun to meet somebody who gets me. Finally, we started saying that I'm I sorry was... Sorry to interrupt, but he wasn't allowed to tell his kids who I was because, you know, his wife, who was great, is like, you know, say he's your cousin or their uncle, they're going to be all messed up, you know, so we, you know... No, my wife said, <laughs> Dr. Phil says you need to go to therapy. <laughs> so I said, okay. She said, and th they would want to know who's JT. They loved him, and I would just say he's my friend. It was two-for-one margarita night at the Red Robin one night. <laughs> I was losing about $10,000 on a football game. I had two margaritas. My eight-year-old son sits down and I go, hey, you know JT? You know who he is? Who did? He's your brother. <laughs> and he says, when did mom have him? <laughs> I said, all of a sudden, I was sorry I said it. I said, no, 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 he didn't. Uh, your mom didn't have him. Another woman had him. And he says, where does she live? I said. I said, and then he said, are you going to give us away? I said, no. <laughs> so I got I get him in the car, you know, and I said, look, you can't tell mom because we're going to go to a therapist and we're going to talk <laughs> and the therapist is going to tell you and you have to act surprised. <laughs> so I give him candy and balloons and whatever you want. So we get back to the house and my wife's in the kitchen and he just runs in and runs upstairs and she goes, how was it? Oh, you know, it's good, blah, blah, blah. The little one comes running down the stairs and says, Mom, Mom, you know JT? He's our brother. <laughs> and I turned to my wife and I said, we just saved $10,000 with therapy. Well, that is wrong on so many levels. <laughs> uh, I can't even begin 
to tell you. What's wonderful is you're seeing all these pictures of me Practical. from 20 years ago, and now I'm back again because of this. And I recommend give away one of your children. 20 years later, <laughs> so this bad. could happen to you. I'm going to party like a rock star, hit a bunch of strip bars, wake up next.